Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with a box or a, a package of some custom American Girl clothes that I had made by my friend Victoria. She, um, I've done a bunch of custom clothes from her before for my 18 inch dolls and I really like them. And she actually is so nice and gave a discount code for you guys if you want to have American Girl clothes made. It's Kelly10 and it's 10% off. So if you want to order from her, um, mention that and you'll get a little discount. But I'm really excited. She made me these little items and I'm excited to open them up. And yeah, so let's get started. Oh, and I didn't mention it, but her Instagram is um, Honeybee Designs, I think. Um, I'll have it in the description of this video, so if you want to check her out, you can. Excuse me, I'm in my pajamas. I have scissors, but I don't know if I'll need them. Maybe. We'll just be careful. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just want to be very careful. I don't want to cut anything. So. Oh my goodness. Okay. She sent a little card. Actually, I know she sent me... I'm not going to show this. She sent me her holiday card. Um, I won't show that because I don't know if she wants that shared, but... That's so cute, her little holiday card. And then these are the outfits. Oh my goodness. She sent me some like extra things. Okay, so this is a random little extra item. I'm including this dress as a thank you. It's six to 12 months. So she also does make baby clothes. Um, I've got one outfit from her for my read mornings, but I really love the, um, American Girl clothes. Oh my god, it has matching bows. That's so cute. Oh wow. Look at this. I'll have to put this on Rory when it's a little warmer out. It's pretty cold right now, but this is so cute. And then because of her like cloth body, she'll probably have to wear... I'll do like a white onesie underneath it, but that is so cute. Actually, maybe she could wear it like more recently if I do a long sleeve and then like tights. That is so cute, and look at the bows. Thank you, Victoria, that's so nice. So, now this is the American Girl stuff, and this is also an extra that she included, because I ordered five little outfits, and she sent that one too, which is really cute. All right, I'm really excited, oops. <laughs> oh, she did a matching little scrunchie. Okay, so this, is a really cute little skirt she did. Um, this floral is so pretty. So this is like a little mini skirt. It has a slit like in the leg. I don't, I think, yeah, I think it goes this way. So it velcros on the side. And then she did a matching scrunchie with it. That's so cute. So that is really cute. I'm gonna have to put that, I'm gonna put these all on somebody just to like show how cute they are. But this is adorable, I'm obsessed with this like pattern. You can see like everything I picked is floral. I love the floral prints. So I always ask her to like send me pictures of her floral fabric. This one is so pretty. Okay, this, oh my goodness. This is a lot of summery stuff. I was feeling really summery I guess when I ordered this stuff. This is so cute. This is like a black floral. Um, it's a romper, so it ha look at these. Mm. The shorts, and then it has like this cute tie, and it ties in the back. Oh my goodness. And then it has um, Velcro too. She told me it didn't need Velcro, it would stay together with just the tie, but she asked if I wanted it, and I said, yeah, just, just in case, so. This is really cute. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited to put these on my dolls. This one, I specifically, think is going to look gorgeous on um, Camille, my Claudie, so she's probably going to be the one modeling this. It is so cute, the yellow. I just feel like she'll look really cute in this yellow. Oops. A little yellow floral. It is so cute. And look at the bow in the back. And this also has Velcro. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my goodness. And then there's this one. Oh. This one is so cute. Look at the puff sleeves. This is like a gardening um, fabric. I think it's so cute. And then, so it velcros down the front and these buttons are just for design, like decoration, but 
it's so cute and she had so many button color choices and I could not even pick like there were so many cute ones but I went with the brown look at how cute this is I have a bunch of rain boots for my dolls and I was like picturing putting them in this with rain boots it was like very like Laney inspired and I do have Laney but I don't know that was just like the vibe I was getting for this I think it's gonna be really cute I love this this one might be my favorite one. I saw this um, fabric she had and I was like, okay, I need to make an order from you. Oh my goodness. Look at how poofy this dress is. I love the color. So there's um, Velcro here. It has a tiny little tie right here on the neckline. It is so pretty. I'm so excited to put this on my dolls. Oh my goodness. This is so pretty. Oh my goodness. And then this one is a different one that she, she like made this, this wasn't part of the custom order. She had like just made this dress and she was selling it and then she just included it with my order, which is very nice of her. And I love this fabric. I actually have a little outfit set that I got from her um, earlier in the year in this fabric. So I could have two girls matching in the same fabric, but they're wearing different outfits. It's so cute. I think... It's the same, actually it's not. I was gonna say I think it's the same style as this, but it's, I think it's the same style as this one a little bit, but just different sleeves and different neckline. I don't know. I don't know much about all this, but it's so cute. It's really pretty. Okay, so now we're gonna try these on my girls because I need to dress them up and make them look adorable. So I'll be right back. This is so difficult. I'm going through and just trying to pair things. There are so many shoes that I think would go so well with each of these. <laughs> so, and I have like a few shirts that I think will go cute with the skirt. So I'm just trying to finalize my ideas. And I also have to figure out which dolls I want to put each of these outfits on because I don't know, I feel like they'll match certain aesthetics of my different dolls. <laughs> a lot of thinking going into this one. Okay, so I dressed some girls up like sporadically so we'll start here since they're both wearing dresses from Victoria I know I always change these two I feel like whenever I do American Girl videos but they are just so pretty and this is like right up especially Margot's alley well both of them they're like they're like very girly girls very cutesy they love to dress and stuff like this so obviously I put Camille in the yellow because that's what I was saying I really think she looks so cute in this, and I knew it would look adorable on her. And then I put these little pink sandals with it to match, like, the pink in the flowers. And then Margot is wearing this really cute dress. I love how, like, poofy it is. And I love the poofy sleeves. So it actually looks really good with her eyes. Like, the green in her eyes ties into the green in the dress. And then I did these really cute little red sandals that are from one of Lainey's outfits. So Margo looks really cute. So that's them. They look adorable. And then down here, Gia is wearing the romper. She's like not really a girly girl. Like um, Danny and Gia don't get changed as much in these videos, I feel like, because they're like more of tomboys, especially Danny. Danny would never wear a dress, never wear a skirt. Um, I think Gia's a little more girly than Danny, so she's wearing the romper but she looks really cute in this actually. And I love it, it's so cute. And it like laces up in the back. It's kind of hard to tell with all her hair, but it laces up in the back, it's really cool. And then I put these little um, coral shoes with it. They're from that orange outfit that came out this summer. She's really struggling to stand right now, please stay. She looks really cute though. And then up here, this was so roady, I had to, so. Here, we'll move Dylan because she's not part of this. <laughs> Rhodey, like, this is so her style to wear rain boots with a dress. Like, I just, I think it looks adorable. I know this is probably not everyone's, like, cup of tea, this style, but I feel like it's so cute for Rhodey. Like, the rain boots with the dress. Like, she's, I don't know. It's something about it. That's her. She's just so pretty. And she looks so cute. These are Lainey's rain boots. She just looks adorable. And then up here, these two girlies are both wearing outfits. She's wearing the skirt and the scrunchie, and I paired it with this um, 
shirt that was made by, I'm blanking on the name right now, but um, Vivacity Doll Apparel. So she made this. And then these are from the Love Shack Fancy line, the shoes. So that's on Jules. I think she looks really cute in this. I was debating whether or not to put Jules in this or this. And I just felt like the skirt is so Jules. It's really her. And then I put Miss Lila in the blue dress. This is my favorite. It's so pretty. But they actually all look so, so cute. I can't even really pick a favorite. But I did the blue dress. It looks adorable on her. I love this style. I definitely need to get more dresses from Victoria. They're adorable. And then I paired it with Kanani's shoes. I feel like the blues looked really nice together. So yeah, that is my girls. And that's how I styled the pieces that I got from Victoria. Like I said, her Instagram is Honeybee Designs. I'm gonna link it in the description of this video. And like I said, if you wanna save 10%, you can use my code Kelly10. Um, just like tell that to her and you will save some money. So yeah. Thank you so much to Victoria for making these outfits. They all turned out perfect. And also just for being so kind and sending the extra goodies and She's amazing. I love to have outfits made by her. So yeah, and thank you guys for watching, and we will see you all later. Bye!